Kesu. I'm Savannah Mallory. And I'm Landon Bayer. Welcome back to another episode of KSSH TV. In this week's episode, we'll be talking to Mr. Davis about how culture will change in the coming years, alongside interviewing Mr. Timmons' class and what they have to offer us here at Santa Sue. Finally, we'll have some encouraging words from our teachers about AP testing. Now with Mr. Davis about cultural homogeneity. I mean, let's maybe define culture to begin with. The simple definition is that it's the thing that people cherish or hold dear or care about. And that's kind of a too broad of a definition, right? Culture, the way we view and understand our world. Literally, the fabric for which we're processing the world here. Whatever culture is, it's, it's the way we interact with our given environment. But there is a problem. Culture is slowly becoming more and more unanimous. And that was just never the case before. As you look into other parts of the world, their individual cultures began to look more and more like each other. But what is actually causing this? If you want to learn more and join the conversation, use this QR code to see the full interview with Mr. Davis. Goodbye. Thanks, Troubadours. In my opinion, there are just some social media trends that need to come to an end. Except for mom jeans. Love me a good pair of those. Now, onto your SSHS updates. From May 1st to May 12th, the library will be closed due to AP testing. Also, if you want to go to an open welcoming community, you can join the social skills group, which is held every Wednesday during the ACE period. Now, that's it for your SSHS updates. Let's check out what Mr. Timmons has in store for us. Hi, I'm Mr. Timmons, the computer science teacher here at Santa Susana High School. I teach a variety of cl classes and courses here and our students find various activities, whether we're, we're doing hacking in cybersecurity, we're working with mathematics to create programs in AP computer science principles, creating games in exploring computer science, web design, uh, that sort of thing. You'll find a variety of things across all of our courses. We learn a lot about um, how to keep a computer safe. So right now we're doing a lab that's about um, hardening an operating system where we have to access uh, registry permissions and kind of just do other stuff to be able to harden an operating system. And the class itself is very easy going. Um, we have ma the majority of the work are consists of labs and guided um, practices. There's not as much homework as I think other classes can and it's very interesting. So cybersecurity, not only is it a chance to work with friends and, and learn skills I don't have, but it's so important because, you know, as, as the future comes and as jobs develop, uh, this kind of cybersecurity and this online world is only becoming more prevalent. So being experienced in that is really going to help because there's hundreds of thousands of jobs opening up in this field. Um, and being able to navigate that kind of world is going to be incredibly useful. Um, so in this class, we do a lot of um, labs like relating to cybersecurity. Um, so we'll go on our computer and we'll have like, it's kind of like a computer inside of a computer and we'll like dissect different commands using Linux and stuff like that. Um, occasionally we'll also do some like case studies relating to like cybersecurity or related incidents or we'll study viruses and the history of them and how they work. I've got some new plans for next year with the, these new whiteboards in the classroom. The plan is to be able to work to further work with collaboration and problem solving by having students be able to get into small groups, write down code as they begin to plan a, a program before they then go and create the programs themselves. There's an opportunity to go through the entirety of the problem solving process from planning, designing, uh, implementing, and then testing. Wow, I wish I could take those classes next year, but sadly, I'll be graduating. That doesn't mean the rest of you tubulars can't. Now, let's close out this week's episode with some encouraging messages from the teachers since AP testing is coming to an end. For the rest of the month, it might be a little stressful. It's gonna require studying, which is gonna get hard. But you've worked so hard this whole year, and now's your chance to show off everything you've accomplished. 
So thank you. Thank you for your valiant efforts. Thank you for your determination and perseverance. For trying your absolute best this year. We know it's going to be a little scary. Believe it or not, we've done this before, but we also know that we've given you all the knowledge you need to succeed on whatever test you take. So you've got this. You've got this. You've got this and you can do much more than you think. That's all for today, Santa Sue. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And click the bell icon to be notified for any future videos. Also, follow us on our Instagram, at kssh.tv, where we post some of our favorite behind-the-scenes content of our previous episodes. In addition, scan the QR code if you have any suggestion for future segments. That's all for today, Santa Sue. We'll see you next time.